graphical highlight of Unreal Engine 4 is our real-time dynamic global illumination and glossy specular reflection. So these objects that you see in the statues, as they change their state from a diffuse material to a specular, they not only change the way light bounces, but they also change the color of the light bouncing around in the scene. Unreal Engine 4 also supports fully emissive materials, so materials that you see in your scene can not only receive light and be emissive, but also transmit light. We have support for full, shadowed, and lit subsurface scattering. This is our orrery room, and this solar system that you see moving around has been placed to demonstrate our indirect lighting. If I change the time of day, the sunlight will begin to stretch further into the room and this will begin to show more of the color of the light bouncing off of the floor and onto the surrounding metal walls. If I change the color of the carpet, you can see that the color of the room changes quite dramatically. I can do that again. There we go. Now if I were to say grab my spotlight planet here and use it to illuminate my room, as I move it around it illuminates different elements of the scene, which then bounce their colored light on every aspect of the scene correctly. You can even see the reflection of the different floor colors on the sphere itself. This next room highlights our uh, dynamically lit particle system. So I have a number of particle systems here, all being illuminated by the dynamic elements of the scene. I can turn on my own flashlight and illuminate it, or even pick up my spotlight planet from the previous room and throw it in, and you'll see this all works together dynamically in real time. So for example, this room has over a million particles in it alone in various different elemental styles. I have fire and ice, obviously, with very different effects. And then I have a final magic effect, and this effect is demonstrating our vector displacement fields, which can be uh, dynamic and fully interactive. So I have a vector field on this object, and as I move it around, it displaces the particles as it travels through them. And I can even turn it off and have it all wisp away. So if the windows were to suddenly close, my scene becomes dark, my eye adaptation will adapt the focus exposure. And then if the floor were to collapse, I have bright elements on my scene, so my lens flares are back, and it's all, again, fully dynamic and fully real-time. You can see the light changes quite dramatically. When the sun's completely behind the building, the sky will go to night, and I have a very different lighting environment. And then as the sun rises, again, I change completely. Now, the most impressive thing about this entire demonstration is that for the entire thing, I've been in the editor the entire time. At any point, I can come out of our immersive mode and go right back into my tools. So I can just fly around, select objects, and move them around and interact with them in the orrery room. If I select that orrery, I can see there's a number of properties that are, are being set up inside of this blueprint. So in the construction script, I have all of the parts of it being put together in sequence. And then I re reach the sequence split, which creates each planet individually. Each one of these lines represents an individual planet. And then I have all of the variables that are used to drive the various behavior. Now, this is what the variables tab looks like. If I dock this here, you can see there's quite a few of them. But all of these can be categorized and given custom names. But now I'm going to use simulate. And simulate plays the game, but doesn't put me in it. So now I'm still in the editor. I have complete control over my tools. I can see properties for any object. I can select the various elements in my scene. But because I'm not in the game, I can watch everything happen. And then at any point, I can click Possess and become part of the game and begin interacting with my game as a player. So one last thing I'm going to show off. Um, if I hit Play and run around in my world, I can hit F10 to eject. And now I see my player's representation in the world again. If I open up his details panel and his code view, it will populate with the functions for that class, in this case a player. If I double click on one of those functions, it will open the source file for that class and go straight to that function. So this has leg strength and I'll change that, minimize this, 
and I'm going to click compile and possess so I'm back in my character playing the game. I can't jump very high, but when it finishes compiling, I become superhuman. So I can make these kind of changes while I'm playing the game, while I'm in my editor, while I'm making changes to my environment and my tools and everything, all in real time as you see.